Hey y'all, it's CJ with Smoky Beginnings. Today we've got something special for you. A step-by-step -step guide on creating a mouth-watering whiskey peach pork loin on the pit barrel cooker. We're walking you through every step to create this masterpiece. And in this video, you will learn how to select the perfect meat, prepare it, infuse the meat with that smoky flavor, and craft an awesome peach whiskey marinade that will have your taste buds tingling. So if you're ready, I'm ready. Let's go. First things first, selecting the right cut of meat. I bought a whole pork loin from one of the big box stores and I butchered the meat myself. This whole piece of meat was about 15 bucks. I'm going to get a lot more than 15 bucks worth of meals out of this one piece of meat. In fact, I was able to get many cuts of meat from this pork loin, such as tenderloins, thick pork chops that I can stuff, and some thin pork cutlets. I was also able to get some boneless country style lips and a few pork loin roast. For this recipe, I've selected one of the roast. It's about anywhere from one to two pounds worth of meat here. Now that we have our meat, let's dive into the preparation process. We will be injecting the pork loin with peach juice. Insert the injector about every inch or so and inject the peach juice. By injecting the meat, we're adding moisture to the very lean piece of meat. Once you have injected the meat, allow it to sit for one to two hours. The juice will disperse within the meat, ensuring a juicy and tender end result. At this time, you could also add your favorite barbecue rub. After allowing the meat to absorb that juice, it will be time to start the pit barrel cooker. We will use a full charcoal basket and one full charcoal chimney. Once the coals of the charcoal chimney have ashed over, add them to the charcoal basket. Wait for about 10 to 15 minutes while the unlit coals ignite. Then add a few flavoring wood chunks. Use fruit wood like my favorite, apple wood. While this pit barrel cooker is coming up to temp, let's do some final preparations on the pork loin. Add some additional barbecue rub to the meat if needed, then place a hook at the thickest part of the meat. We will also add a temperature probe to make sure that everything goes according to plan. Once the smoker and the meat are ready, it's time to put the meat on the smoker. And of course I forgot to record me putting the pork loin into the smoker, but it's pretty simple. Place the hook on the hanging rod and close the lid, open the vent, and let the cooker do all the work for you. While the pork loin is smoking on the pit barrel cooker, we'll make the glaze. Place a pot on the stove over medium heat, add peach juice, I chose a natural simply peach juice here, and a fourth a cup of barbecue sauce. In this case, I'm using Sweet Baby Ray's. Now it's time to add some peach flavored whiskey, and then add some brown sugar. Allow the glaze to come up to a boil before we turn the heat down. We want some of the moisture to evaporate and the sauces to thicken. That is why we're bringing the sauce to a boil before turning down the heat. Now, remember to stir the sauce often as we don't want it sticking to the bottom. Once the glaze has thickened, take the glaze off the heat and let the flavors melt with one another. Now it's going to be time to check in on the pork one. It's been about 30 minutes and our first milestone that we're looking for is the internal temperature being around 130 to 135 degrees Fahrenheit. That temperature is the first milestone because that is when we're going to add our glaze. And here we have hit the internal temperature so it's time to glaze. Get the glaze all over the meat, I mean every single side of it, and then add it back to the smoker. The next time we check in we're looking for an internal temperature of 150 to 165 degrees Fahrenheit. At this temperature range, we should expect the meat to be about medium, which is how my family likes it. It has been about one hour and 30 minutes, give or take a couple minutes here or there, and the pork loin has reached our desired internal temperature. It is now time to remove it from the pit barrel cooker. We will take it inside, let the meat rest for about 10 minutes before slicing. When it's time to slice, make sure that to make thin slices against the grain. By doing so, the bite should be perfect. After slicing the meat, drizzle on some more of that peach whiskey glaze and enjoy. 
And there you have it, a whiskey peach pork loin smoked on the pit barrel cooker. If you like content like this, make sure to like and subscribe. And until next time, keep those fires burning and those taste buds tingling. Have a good one.